finding domain and range from a linear graph in context. Let's recall that the domain is always represented by the x values and the range is always represented by the y values. So let's read the problem. Keiko wanted to study how the area of a rectangle changes with the length if its width is fixed. She computed the areas of several rectangles that have the same width and different lengths. She then plotted the results and connected them with a line as shown below. The graph shows the area in square meters versus the length in meters. We're going to start by focusing on the range. So again, focusing on the y-axis. What is the lowest and what is the highest value that this graph extends to? So the lowest value is zero and the highest value, because this is an arrow, this goes on forever, the highest value would be infinity. In other words, the graph goes from zero and on forever. Therefore, we can conclude that y is greater than or equal to zero. It's every value from zero and on forward. Now let's focus on the domain. The domain, just like the range, starts at zero and extends horizontally to the right. So this graph, again, continues on forever. So we'll forever go on to the right. Therefore, we can conclude that the domain goes from zero to infinity or written here, x greater than or equal to zero. So there you have both the domain and the range. Let's take a look at another problem where the graph does not extend on forever. So in this problem here, notice this is just a line segment. So now let's determine both the domain and range by focusing first on the range. So the range has a low value of 90 and a high value of 270. So we would write 90 is less than or equal to y, less than or equal to 270. This is the range. Now, the domain. The lowest value of the domain, in this case, is 0, and its highest value is 30. So the domain can be written as 0, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 30. Here you have both the domain and the range for this graph.